I wonder how they like sit in like a meeting room and come up with an app name. Let's call this one Loops and let's call this one Stamped. I don't know, how does the meeting go? Maybe they just threw a bunch of stuff at the wall. Wow. Huh. Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, welcome to another Shopify app review of the reviews. I made this joke three times already, it's getting really old. Why three times? Because we reviewed a bunch of other review apps uh, that you can link over here. Anyway, this week we're looking at Stamped. Stamped is a popular one that a lot of my clients use and I know one client is gonna love that I'm doing this video. Um, so it's also about reviews, it can do a whole bunch of stuff. It has a 4.9 out of 5 rating, which is again really impressive, but it's not the only one with such a rating. It has over 2,300 reviews at this time and uh, yeah, it's definitely up to date. Well, it's definitely a good competitor for all the other ones that we reviewed. But the thing is that um, every app fits one person better or one store better than another one. So make sure to see all the videos, pick the one that you like most on the look and the feel, and please don't start installing them all and then uninstalling because it will mess up your code, slow down your site, and affect your bottom line. And how Stam does the trick, let's go! The app is installed and we are in this beautiful start guide. On the first page you would be asked about the type of your shop. Uh, we will go with a small business and we heard about Stam.io from the app store click next and we are on the customization tab from here we can customize the brand do question and email customizations so let's start with a brand slash product name we will write econexperts.io all right and choose this picture as the logo start and text colors are all right we are on the question customization tab where we can change the question sent to our customers after a purchase. Basic text editor, so let's go to the email customization tab. On this tab, we should fill out the sender's name, email for replies, and also the subject of our message. For the name, we will go with ecomexperts.io because that is who we are. In the email is info at ecomexperts.io because that's where you can get dev work done. The subject text should be fine, so we will leave it as is. Uh, again, I'm not a marketing person, I'm just a developer. Let's send this as a test message to see how it looks. Jump to the email real quick and here it is. It looks nice. Now that we have this done, let's go to the next tab in the start guide. We are on the plan picker tab. For now, we'll stick with the free plan, but the premium plans are actually pretty fair. So click on the red button and we are on the last step, which is reserved for review request emails. We had this with Luke's, but as I remember, we can only request reviews from customers not older than 90 days, but I may be wrong. Make sure to check out our video for that. Stamp.io allows you to import reviews for the past 120 days, which is really nice. We will choose that, and even though we don't have any sales in this demo shop, click on complete and we are on the dashboard. The dashboard looks nice, split in three parts. On the right, we have app activity. The central part is for recommendations, and on the left, we have the menu. The menu has home, customers, queue, analytics, gallery, and marketing. Also, there is a live chat in the bottom right if you need any help from the customer support team, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go to the recommendations and the customize our review widget. Click on the customize main widget here and we are on the widget editor tab. On the left, we have the navigation menu, basically general app settings, uh, similar format as, uh, as Luke's actually. And on the right, we have the customization tab with the live preview. Okay, first step is customization section. Here we can choose from, whoa, 25 languages. All right, that is act super close. Sort and loading type. No limit for number of reviews per page, nice. Let's go with 10 and team color, some nice blue. If you click on show all customization options, this section will expand with word limit. Verified batch color and also on and off buttons for the graph, the photo summary, the sort options, the recommended percentage, the reviews tab, and a custom avatar. Next section is design. 
We do have six options here and we'll go with maybe masonry since we want to show 10 reviews per page. Click on masonry and save. Let's quickly check display and email widgets and after that we can put this app to the test. Click on the display widget on the left and we are on the new tab. It looks different than the main widget. Uh, from here you can fully customize the carousel, uh, full page, the visual gallery, the wall photos, top rated, side drawer, side badge, Instagram feed, checkout comments. Um, Alright, to customize the email widget you need a premium membership and if you choose that you would be able to add badges and reviews directly in your email which is pretty cool and it's time to test our app we are on the demo shop i don't see any stars but maybe it will only show after we write a review on the product page here it is looks nice let's see how the review form looks when we click on write a review name andrew email info at egomexperts.io rating five stars of course for the title and the review text we write some dummy text and click on submit all right this thank you message looks nice okay that's pretty much it for the app and this app has a bunch of features outside of the review so we definitely like that also the analytics tab offers more than enough insights in your current campaign if you don't have any general analytics setup or even like that it's a really nice extra your marketing tab you can even make facebook and instagram ads which is pretty cool so overall a great app Maybe the design is not really up my personal alley because I kind of lost the flow with all the wide variety of uh, features that they offer. But if you go deep into this app, I'm sure you can build some pretty amazing stuff. All right, that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. I hope you got some information out of it. Whether or not Stamped is right for you, because maybe you're like, ooh, I'm never touching this. Don't touch this. Or maybe you're like, it's my favorite app. I want it for Christmas but then you can just get it right now with the plans that we outlined. Anyway, thank you so much. Make sure to check out our other videos. We didn't only do reviews, we did meta fields. We did a whole bunch of subjects. So make sure to check them out. Thank you so much for your watch, subscribe, like, and see you in another video. Bye.